my question for Elon Musk and Drew at the at, during battery day was like, yo, like what else is this going to enable? Thinking long term, um, is there any other segments that this new battery will be able to disrupt or electrify um, beyond just the initial Model 2 or cheaper sedan, like a boat, boring company loop, plane? Boat, Where are you, Gali? Are you there? Good? What's up? Uh, right here. Okay, great. I mean, uh, man, yeah, it's, it's, like, like, it's like ventriloquism future. here, you know, it's like uh, we just get the sound out of the speaker and you can't tell where the heck it's coming from. <laughs> yeah, any hints or is the Model 2 such a big deal because it decreases the cost of transportation that that is really the disruption? Or should we get hyped that this new cost curve opens up different vehicle categories like a high passenger density bus, boring loop, boat, plane? Um, well, uh, I mean, there's... There, there are batteries in limited production right now that do exceed 400 uh, watt hours per kilogram, which I think is about the number you need for uh, decent range, medium range uh, aircraft. Um, and uh, I think our batteries will, over time, start to approach the 400 watt hours per kilogram range as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it, over time we'll see all modes of transport, uh, with the ironic exception of rockets, uh, transition to sustainability, um, or to, to electric, basically. Um, on, the, on the rocket front, uh, what we're planning to do is, uh, like about 80% of Starship is, oxy is uh, liquid oxygen, um, and uh, we're actually already uh, run running a power line to be able to use wind power to create the liquid oxygen. So we're making you know, some decent progress on uh, sustainability on the rocket front, but there's just no way to have an electric rocket, um, and it's important for the future of uh, life and consciousness that we become a multi-planet species. So, uh, got to keep doing that. Actually, in retrospect, I think it was kind of a bad question because it wasn't about products. And the Model 2, I think, that is really the game changer. Nothing else matters right now for Tesla because if they can get that $25,000 car out and build 10 million of them a year, that is going to make them so much money. That is going to do so much for their impact. Um, it makes total sense that they're absolutely laser focused on that. But Elon Musk did kind of answer my question was like, we're already scheming on that 400 watt hour per kilogram battery cell. We're going to electrify everything that needs to be electrified. I know I'm going to keep bugging Elon to do with the electric airplane and the electric boat and the electric bus, the electric boring company loop. I don't know. This battery unlocks all of that. This battery division is going to unlock all of those future products as well. And so I know they didn't want to talk about them, but yes, I think a Tesla airplane is coming. If it's not, it's because they're going to do a jet under some other company. Maybe SpaceX will do it. But I think, you know, this battery, Tesla's battery division, this, that Drew is leading, this thing is going to come up with a 400 watt hour per kilogram battery. And it's up to Elon whether they put it in his VTOL jet or not. And so that is pretty exciting. Um, I also think the semi truck, the validation that this is a new battery cell, uh, I mean, that it makes me think that the sem electric semi truck mar uh, market for Tesla, I think financially is something that to really focus on in the near term if they can scale battery production, because, you know, nobody's ever going to produce an electric semi that competes with Tesla unless they come up with this cell. <laughs> it's going to take me impossible to come up with this cell. And so I think Tesla's semi truck, where it's all about economics, it's all about operating costs, it's all about the te core technology and performance of that battery. Um, per cost, per dollar you're spending on it, Tesla's, that's where Tesla's going to shine. That's where they're going to take market share the fastest because of the economic ROI of that industry. And so I think that's another thing that got me really excited about this battery day is, okay, now we know what's going in the semi truck. Now we know why the semi truck can pull off all these crazy specs. And now we know why no one's going to be able to pull it off because they're not, they don't have these battery cells. And okay, here's another thing that's crazy. All the electric vehicle companies and people I've talked to are blown away. All the industry insiders, Sandy Monroe, I was just with Mark Frohmeyer uh, of Arkimoto, all the people, everybody's blown away by what Tesla announced in the industry. The closer you are to battery technology, the more impressed you are with what has been announced. And every single electric vehicle person I talk to, every single company is drooling to get these cells because they are so good and they're so much better than what's on the market. Literally, it, it kind of made me like so bullish on Tesla and what they're doing. And how incredible this is because you hear just the amount of, I don't even know what Ford and GM are thinking. If I was them, I would be getting on the phone with Elon begging them to buy, to buy batteries. But uh, anyway, I don't think that's going to happen. Wow.